Merrimack will kick off here. The Sharks will receive, and we are underway in North Andover. Kick is up and is good. Michael Coney now has missed only one field goal this year, seven of eight on the season. That was basically a glorified extra point. Looking back to the left, Green, a dangerous throw up and a jump ball, and it is caught by Michael Love. Green, Green looking to the left. Now he goes down the middle, wide open target, and walking in is Oye Kanme for the touchdown for the Sharks. 9-3, LIU leads. Great design with the trips to the left and having two guys clear out and having him come underneath absolutely wide open. Look at him, he got nine guys around the line of scrimmage. McCusker now has an opening over the top for Carter, who had to slow down to make the play, but he's able to go up and get it. <laughs> There's that man, Jakari Carter, out across the 40, a big play. Second down and five. Green to his right into the slant play and a spin move to break free for Love as he gets a bunch of extra yardage and he's out close to midfield. Calls for Bowen in motion. Green's gonna keep it. Goes to his left, avoids one tackler. Now across the 40 and he's down to about the 35 uh -oh, and the ball right came out. Merrimack is pointing their direction. A defensive formation, fakes here. Now he's looking down the field. McCusker's got Carter wide open. It's a home run ball to Corey Carter to the end zone. 10-9, the bomb from McCusker to Carter. There it is. They hit. He had. They called that same play as he did just on the near side of the field um, where McCusker underthrew him just a little bit, causing Carter to slow down. Um, but this one, he hit him in stride. A beautiful pass. Now out of the 14. Hand off to Bowen. Cuts back right. Huge yeah. hole and much more for Bowen. Let's see if anybody can catch him. He's gone. Bowen with a huge gain and touchdown. 86 yards to the house. Well, that's not what you want to see as a defensive coordinator for Merrimack. When you have start with the ball inside the 10 yard line or five yard line um, of LIU and they break a long one for a touchdown to take the lead. Off to the right. Comes uh -oh. back right uh -oh. ball on the ground and it's fallen on by LIU. Special teams nightmares both ways today. Yeah. Green feels the pressure coming, throws the ball up towards the end zone. Witherstone, oh, play. step by step, breaks it up. You said it. What a great play by Witherstone there. He was in coverage with Oye Kanmi, and that ball falls to the turf after Witherstone breaks it up. Snap gets down. Coney's kick is through. Wow. Great job. Had a, the leg on it and plenty. Good from 47, would have been good from 50. Oof. And it's 20 to 10, LIU leading. Hard count, takes it, fakes it. He's got Fisher open inside the five into the end zone, touchdown. Great job. You had it, Isaiah, the receiver in you comes out when you see a guy open like that. And for the first time today, Hayden Fisher's found and he finds the end zone on the back end. So third down and 10. Warriors need a stop here to get the ball back. Clock is stopped as well at 5.32. Getting the edge and he's taken down. A sack for this defense when they needed it most. As Derek Green goes down and there'll be a punt coming for LIU from their own 10 yard line. Eight yards there after catching that ball in the backfield. Here's Dawson trying to pick up the first. He's got it in more. Dawson down the sideline towards the end zone. He's forced out inside the five. Warriors marching down the field. They're on the doorstep. Victor Dawson doing a lot of the heavy lifting. Great job by Dawson with the stiff arm um, to break that tackle there. Crowd coming back to life. McCusker brings Carter in motion, fakes it to him, gives to Dawson. Dawson cuts back in. in. Touchdown, Warriors. We are tied at 23 here in the fourth. Now a big extra point for Davis. He gets it up and he gets it through. Merrimack leads for the first time today. Green in the shotgun, takes the snap, looking to throw. Looking for the screen, and the ball is out. It's it, incomplete. It's an incomplete pass, though. There's no signal yet on the field, and now a pile up for wow. the ball. They never called it incomplete. Who's got the ball? 
it's going to be Merrimack football, and Merrimack is going to able, be able to take a couple knees here. But Peterson's kick is off, and it's going to bounce a couple of times. Friend, yeah. Never had a chance to have anybody behind him, and that's how the game will end. He made things interesting for a second, but what a big comeback win for Merrimack here in the second half. They trail 28, or 20 to 10, rather, at halftime. They outscore the Sharks 14 to three in the second half. Gutsy performance from Gavin McCusker. Great job on the ground game all around from Dawson and Edmonds. And in the end, Merrimack gets the first win of their NEC season. They're now 1-0.